Hi, I'm Bob Cram, and this is episode one of Something for the Weekend. Now, you might call yourself a gamer, you might be casual, you might be hardcore, but Something for the Weekend is a new program which looks at challenges which you can be doing over the weekend on games which you probably already played. So without further ado, let's go check out the free games this week which you could be playing this weekend to prove that you are a gamer. In fact, you don't really need to prove you're a gamer. It's good to find trying these challenges because you might not have tried them already. Let's do it. Okay, first up um, is going to be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, a game which you've probably played loads in the multiplayer and maybe even completed the uh, single player campaign once on uh, easy. This time though, what we are suggesting is that you go back and play it on veteran difficulty. You know, it's a kind of very different experience. It's not overly challenging and if you've got a bit of patience, then um, you know, it's something you can do quite successfully. Uh, the campaign is relatively short in general, um, so you won't be adding on too much extra time playing on this extra difficulty setting. Um, it is quite rewarding, and I think probably the best way to play the single player game. Um, other difficulty levels are either too easy, and you just breeze through the game, um, and Veteran kind of, kind of nails that level of difficulty just so it's not frustrating and it's uh, perfect. Um, so here's an example, mind the gap here, which is uh, showing off the beginning of the level. Question is, can you do it? Can you beat the entire game on Veteran? Now a lot of people have. Um, now as you can see the scripted nature of this game makes it quite easy um, especially when the computer AI can sort of do a lot of the shooting for you so uh, it's kind of an interesting facet that um, you can just sit back and let the computer do the work uh, but it's not all like that there are going to be times when you will challenge you will get grenade spammed and you're going to have to keep your wits about you where the gunfire is coming from but these kind of scripted missions make it very easy so that's game number one Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on veteran difficulty can you do it can you beat it I think you can you know you can next up is uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution as game number two challenge number two now um, this is quite a long game, but uh, if you stick the difficulty back Richard, onto easiest, uh, you Wouldn't should be able to breeze through this game very easily. Um, and especially if you ignore a lot of the uh, optional side missions, you should be able to complete the game pretty easily. Now, the challenge here is to beat the game without killing a single enemy. Now, you're given lots of guns, lots of abilities, and the first thing you need to do is put that gun away. That's it. For the rest of the game, guns are not your friend. You're going to have to find other ways, other methods to uh, sneak past, run away from, or um, interrogate in different means without getting out the guns, without shooting anybody, except the bosses. Now you will get rewarded for this. Um, you'll get an achievement. Um, and if you really think you're badass, then you can actually uh, attempt this by doing it on the toughest difficulty and you'll get two achievements for the price of one. And as I said, you uh, can let loose on the boss characters in this game with guns and whatever else you that comes to you. So um, my advice is to stock up on as much stuff as you can and then let loose on the uh, bosses. Uh, my second bit of advice for completing this challenge would be to um, save as often as you can. Now, probably the biggest stumbling block here for a lot of people is this opening section where before you've been given any cybernetic implants. A lot of people seem to think that uh, you can kill on this level 
and it won't count but it does count so ignore all of these guards here take your time and um, you should be able to get through unscathed pretty simple just like this now they've seen me doesn't matter I'm out the door I'm on the way so that sort of technique is what will get you through a lot of the tough sections in the game um, being sneaky though is preferable and is key to success here so that's challenge number two beat Deus Ex Human Revolution without killing a single soul except bosses can you do it? I think you can it's not that hard okay third and final challenge for something for the weekend is going back to Saints Row the third now this is a, a big game there's lots to do in it and um, you know you can get sidetracked pretty easily but there's something that's worth checking out and that's the um, collectibles there's a lot of collectibles in the game not millions of collectibles but enough that uh, you can um, find by getting into various vehicles and looking in nooks and crannies uh, it's basically debris from a plane crash from the beginning of the game that you're picking up all the bits now what's good about this is that um, as you level up through the through the game by uh, gaining the respect and whatever uh, you'll be able to unlock the ability to view the collectibles via the map which is a uh, an interesting um, feature so that means you'll be able to see all of them and uh, you know plot a course as to where where they are and find them so look as you can see here they're on the map and uh, you can plot a course and go and collect the items now you do have to be kind of level 20 something around that kind of area which does take quite a few hours but you know if you head on over to msxboxworld.com check out the guide section we've got our interactive map available which means you can start collecting those pretty much as soon as you start the game which is a, a bonus indeed and um, you'll be rewarded for cl collecting all the collectibles with a pad on the back with the, ach the digital achievement sorry I said that wrong a digital pad on the back with the achievement so third game third challenge very easy Mm, not too time consuming um, and reasonably good fun. Now, Saints Row 3, the third, or Saints Row the third, is a distracting game. Um, so you might get sidetracked doing all kinds of other stuff, but you know, this is something that's uh, well fun to play and um, a decent sort of challenge for the weekend if, you, if you're looking for something to do. Okay, well, that's the three challenges. So, uh, We'll see you next week or whenever for something for the weekend. You can do it. You know you can do it. Laters.